Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And today I'd like to show you a little bit more about these um, picks and smoothing tools that Snap-on makes. These are the non-marring ones. Now I've got tons of other picks and I've done videos on other picks and I've got these seal pullers that I often call hockey sticks. Um, I use these as small pry bars. Usually I need leverage inside a component or something. Um, it's nice to have a rounded surface. This tends not to mar anything, plus there's a good coating over this. Um, and both of these are great. You can see I'm kind of wearing the coating on that one. Um, wore it off there. Uh, but anyway, I also have these guys. And this is um, a uh, kind of a non-marring um, smoothing set. Um, both of these sets... Um, the smoothing set, um, this one here, let me see the price, looks like um, the PPN 300 sells for about 20 bucks, $20.80, and the same actually for this non-marring pick set, the PPK 300, both made in America. But anyway, you got to be careful pulling these out because these things are sharp. Um, so... What they are, um, are just simply plastic picks. Um, you can see the Made in USA. Um, each one's an individual um, product number, and then this is the set number that I gave you. Uh, these are pretty flexible, so they, they really don't do any kind of damage when they, uh, um, you know, you catch up on something, especially any kind of metal. You can, you can scuff tape. Um, it's possible to chip paint. It's kind of difficult, not car paint usually, but um, by latex paint, etc. But there's, you can see that the, uh, the support fin um, only goes to here. So this is pretty flexible. So it actually is marginal at a pry bar. It's more of a softening kind of bar. Like if I'm working on an iPhone or something, I have to pop the cover off the, the glass plate um, the screen essentially. This is actually is nice because it'll actually flex inside the case a little bit. There's less chance you're going to rip out something such as, a, you know, one of the wires or connectors. You still can, but um, because of that flexibility, there's there's a little bit less chance. This side's a little bit stiffer than this side, but you can see where the support ends. Um, and the same here, they just spun these down to smaller sizes. Um, this one actually supports quite way back, so you get a lot of flexibility on that. This one's super thin, you can see, so tons of flexibility there. So if you're dragging them, smoothing them sideways, um, they just work great for that. Uh, a lot of the computer stuff, um, it's nice to be able to use something um, that just isn't really going to damage anything, but is also going to um, have just enough strength, but hopefully not enough to get you in big trouble. The picks, on the other hand, they're a lot more stout. And you could get hurt, you can do some damage with these things. They're really sharp. Um, this one, I mean, that's, that, that'll that hurt you, um, if you if you slip and grab it. It's very similar to what you encounter with the metal picks. Um, but it also can be really handy. That one, a little dangerous, I don't use it as much. This is like a plastic dental pick, and this one actually comes in really handy. Um, just a, the sharpness there. Again, a small hook here. I mean, that's just deadly right there. Um, but it can, it can come in handy on um, uh, moving wires around. Um, if you really have to get into something small that, that only needs a little bit of a hook, that's great. This one's standard kind of dental pick. This one gets used a lot. Um, but anyway, they're, they're a good set for 40 bucks for full snap-on made in the USA. Of course, there are all kinds of other picks, but once you go cheap, um, or less expensive, I should say, because who knows, they might be exactly, or almost exactly the same. What happens is, uh, you don't go down that much because these don't start out very high. So a nice set of picks um, from Snap-on, lifetime warranty, et cetera, might be 20 bucks, whereas 10 bucks will get you, you know, a less expensive one. And I've noticed some kits, they just don't seem to go very low. It's like there's a minimum price that makes it even worthwhile on Amazon. So you might think there'd be some Chinese company that produces these for like $2.50. Well, yeah, but it's hard to make money. Um, so it's worth the leap, I think. And uh, if you have any any uh, you know soft prying needs, um, I like these. I've got a bunch of others like the iFixits I've done videos on. But honestly, when you start working with uh, with these, you realize there's there's a distinct advantage. But just be aware they are not a pry bar. 
They will not perform like a pry bar. They are soft. They're going to be spongy. They're going to be flexible. Um, so you can't really put a whole lot of force onto them. Otherwise, they end up uh, um, just, just bending over. So be a little careful. But if this is the kind of stuff that you need, um, you know, definitely look at the snap-on ones um, because of the price uh, and the performance. And with that, Doc out.